Come on. Instrumental. You just can't find royalty, good royalty free Christmas music these days. Holiday music, Christmas music. I am tardy. I am late. I am late to this live. This is actually pretty good. It's got a little giddy up. Ooh, I'm gonna have to like that one. Uh, it is uh, November. 20 is it 5th is 26th it's one of those days but it's been a long holiday weekend and uh, i really hope that all of you folks had a wonderful thanksgiving if you celebrate thanksgiving that you've had a relaxing delicious wonderfully festive holiday weekend and for those who had to work don't mean i don't mean to rub it in your face but um well, yeah, I, I'm, I'm sorry for you if you had to work out. So we have uh, some stuff to talk about. I've, I usually lay out everything that I want to talk about, and um, we got some, uh, we got some goodies. Uh, we're mainly focusing on Yankee Candle today, and I suppose. Yankee Candles parent company's other brands. Why? Because as you should know by now, if you see my video, I went to uh, I went to Candle Power. Candle Power is I was calling it it an exhibit. And I think it is it's an, it's kind of like an art exhibit. But uh, it's a pop-up storefront experience in New York City down in Soho. You walk through and they, one candle at a time, they have these displays where you can walk through, take pictures. But as you walk through these displays, I said this last Sunday, um, you, you experience the candle and the many aromas of that candle. And it's fully immersive. So there's visual components, there's audio components, uh, textural experiences, lights, um, and of course, lots of aromas. So, uh, last week I didn't get to show you the candles because the folks at Candle Power kindly shipped all of the candles to me. So I didn't have to be in New York City with bags, essentially, and be carrying them all over the city. Um, and, uh, really appreciate that they did that. That was a huge thumbs up to them. Uh, no charge. Uh, I think if you buy one or two candles, there may be a $10 fee, something like that. Uh, but that that is certainly fair. And all my candles arrived perfectly safe. I'm going to pull you guys up here so we can all say hello. And ba -ba -ba -ba, my channel. All right. All right, here we go. What do we think of the t-shirt, huh? Brand new. Right, here we go. Gotta what turn we the volume the down here. Uh, thank you, Cecily, very much. I'm going to talk about uh, Cecily in a little bit because she sent me a wonderful care package of just goodies for Halloween. Uh, to show her appreciation for the content, I never ask that you send me care packages, gifts, any of those the, those kinds of things. But when it does happen, uh, it, it really does touch me. Uh, so thank you right from the get-go, Cecily, uh, because she sent this nice little box of goodies. And usually I open them up on the live, but I was with my family for Thanksgiving, and we're all at the, the table, and I had the box with me. So we opened it up, and we all together got to see what was in the box, and it was a really special experience and speaking of that today's coffee non-sponsored uh, but this is uh, from cecily um this is going to be a codaldi's coffee roasting company established in 1994 uh, and it says our signature blend since we opened uh the shop in 1994 the blend provides a perfectly balanced cup what is that blend uh no percentages but it does say latin american african blend that's that's pretty cool i like that 
and it is a washed bean. If you know about uh, coffee processing, that means that will retain a little bit of that coffee fruity flavor. Where's my thermos? I got my Garfield mug today. And we're not gonna waste any more time. We're gonna jump right into these candles. Now, I say it on the lives all the time. I, I will talk about the candles and the basic aroma profiles, but this week, uh, now that I'm off the road for a week, I'm going to catch up on all of my candle evaluations. It's the one thing where I've, I think I've really, I don't want to say dropped the ball, but I really haven't been providing the candle evaluations uh, this this uh you know the past couple months so i'm gonna catch up we have, still have a lot of autumn candles from the uk that i would love to share with you uh of course i did my uh evaluations on yankee candles christmas line but there's still some surprises i want to show you and also we need to talk about the uk european releases of christmas christmas candles because the lineup this year is extraordinary Okay, what, what's that bear in the back? It says Eric Peter Carlson from the EPC family. That is this year's Yankee Candle Limited Edition. Well, I don't know if it's Limited Edition, but it's limited in that after this year, they probably won't make it anymore. But uh, in previous years, he's had a pea coat. He's had... A flannel coat. This year he's got this really cool, it's kind of like Eric Peter Carlson style. It's one of those, those like windbreaker, puffy, whatever you call these kind of jackets. But if you open it up and spread the collar, you get, he has this James Dean thing going on. I like it. Or Elliot from E.T. Thank you for pointing that out. Um, yes, again, Cecily... Thank you. Cecily Urker from YouTube. Um, if you don't know, uh, she does, she does, what, what do you call it? She does, uh, I don't want to call it, there's certainly not illustrations, but they, she does portraits of, uh, for, for commission. So definitely check out her, her business. It's, um, she's got a lot, she's, she's all hooked up on the social media. So you should be able to find her easily. Let's get some of these candles lit. And of course, I'm using Mark Smith's Edison lighter. I'm telling you, you guys make this show happen. Bing Crosby. We'll get to the Bing Crosby. Let's save save that because we got to get into the candles. Um Good morning. Every good morning from Washington. Oh, wow. It's uh, midday for me, um, and it's the night for some of you folks. Uh, Charlie Brown Christmas tree. You guys are very observative. Okay. And let's do this, because we're already behind schedule. The The title of the, the show is, says Yankee Candle Candle Power Exclusives. Uh, exclusives. Again... Uh, a temporary or pop-up store in New York City uh, hosted by a Yankee Candle. Uh, they gave me, they were, first of all, they, you know, I, I walked in the door and uh, they immediately uh, knew me, which was like a huge sigh of relief because I was afraid I wasn't going to have permission to do uh, video photography, but they pretty much gave me free reign to do anything I want and I was literally there for, for about five hours and uh, It was a great experience wonderful tote. I don't know if they sell these um, They may be on the website And There is uh, the postcard I have a lot of these postcards. I'm going to send out to you folks so if uh, I don't have your mailing address, um, what you can do is email me at candleenthusiast at yahoo.com. Email address 
or not email address, a shipping address, P.O. box, whatever you feel comfortable with. This was from Yankee Candle, um, uh, and I really appreciate their support. Uh, they were very supportive of what I was doing. Uh, Alejandra and uh, Jimmy, thank you from Candle Power. So let's get started. Look at this box. I love this. The simplicity, uh, the, the very, you know, there's, you know, no Christmas logos, no Yankee Candle logos, but right on top we have Candle Power by Yankee Candle. Um, you can purchase these for any of the candles you walk out the door with. And it has this, um, almost like, um, I'm rubbing this like the magic lamp from Aladdin. Um, like a, a rubber, grippy uh, kind of feel to it. It's not just like a slick or satin piece of paper. I like boxes, you know? I like boxes, what can I say? First one, um, you saw me talk about this if you watched my Candle Power vlog. This one is called a City Lights. Uh, I know that's going to be a soft focus for you there, but in the background we see the Manhattan Bridge. And uh, I said this last week, but if any of you are familiar with the Sergio Leone film Once Upon a Time in America, that's pretty much composed almost exactly like uh, the, the film uh, poster art. And uh, City Lights. So City Lights is also the name of in my opinion, one of Charlie Chaplin's greatest films, uh, feature films. And uh, so, in, you, you know, I have a huge connection with New York City and City Lights, Charlie Chaplin, Once Upon a Time in America. I was already going in, and Yankee Candle, I was already going in with this fragrance with so much possibilities in my head. I'll give you a quick breakdown of what's going on. Um, so this is what I would call in the same direction as something like Autumn Gathering and Crisp Fall Night in that it has, it's cologne driven, but it is not so, it's, it's not, it's not so cologne that if you don't like cologne fragrances, it's going to turn you off. It does have a lot of environment to it. It does have, you know, that, that, that clean, fresh environment of, like, lavender. Lavender, to me, always softens things up. There is a base of soft cedar. That sounds like a contradiction, but cedar, for me, always... It always smells... It smells soft. It smells like... Um, a comfy, cozy, uh, warm blanket. When I smell it, I don't necessarily get like the harshness of something like antiqued wood or fresh pine, uh, sandalwood, for example. Um, so definitely some like peppercorn, moss, I think, uh, and, and patchouli for sure, because there's, like I said, there is an environmental earthy side to this candle, even though it really does smell like uh, a man's cologne. I'm a fan. I really am. Uh, uh, I think I'm going to have to get more of these. You can purchase this on not Yankee's website, not Yankee Candle's website, but the Candle Power. I think it's CandlePowerNYC.com. You can order um, this candle. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any sales or promotions, uh, but if you go to the store, it's buy one, get one for $10. So of course, I bought two. City Lights, just for the, just for the label alone. Oh yeah, oh yeah. What are you guys saying about this? Uh... Kazra is asking a very good question. Do you feel that some of the Candle Power candles are uh, repackages? I don't. I really, honest to goodness, I don't, I'm not super familiar with Chesapeake Bay, like their catalog of aromas, but I, I, I 
so I can't really say yes or no to that. But uh, as far as Woodwick, uh, definitely not. And this is not a Yankee Candle. Is it close to a lot of things? Yeah. You know, there's a soft muskiness here. This is not as harsh and overbearing and as spicy as Crisp Fall Night. You know what it's more like? Okay, uh, Over the River. I, I hate comparing a candle to another candle. I hate that. It's one of my worst pet peeves, and I still do it. But um, if you've ever smelled uh, Over the River, very, uh, very prominent candle in Yankee's collection, it, it, it's, 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 it's in that genre, is what I want to say. Uh looking past the fragrance, looking past the beautiful dark blue navy wax um, collector's item. Um, you know, you have to consider that too. You know, I, I don't think this will be hitting outlets. I don't think it will be hitting Yankee Candle retail. This is kind of potentially one of those like ghostly treat situations where four or five years from now people are going to say oh my god i can't believe you have that so if you do want to burn one i would consider buying two and it does come in the two wick uh two wick tumbler soy wax format as well so let's go to a wood wick now in the the the, the 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 show let's call it candle power the show because ex i was calling it exhibition and i really don't know if that is something they would even want me to call it so let's call it a show they had so the, in my video you see the balsam and cedar comes first you walk through this forest of it's a sculpture of uh you know, alpine trees that are cut out of really thick cedar wood, highly aromatic. After you leave the balsam and cedar section, you hit the wood wick um, little display and it's the upside down living room. It's nuts. You walk in for a second and you really are like thrown, uh, th thrown off. I mean, like, standing not on necessarily on the ceiling but high up on the wall but in that in that in that that the display they were promoting fireside so i thought that's what woodwick was selling turns out no woodwick did put out an exclusive candle for this event and as you can see this has got monica's name written all over it uh soho right there on the bottom, uh, simply called Soho. What could that be? What could that be? You know, I mean, so many, so, those of you who have spent time, good amount of time in New York City, we all have associations with this area of the city. So what, what could this be? What could this be? Man, this smells like and I know I just I just took a sip of coffee, but this smells like you're sitting on a brand new leather sofa. You just sat down with a cup of coffee. You get a little bit of that roasty, toasty, medium roast, freshly medium roast coffee bean and big time leather leather. Uh, you could say. You, you bought a brand new pot box, or br new box. You bought a brand new pair of wooden, pull together, Shane. You have a brand new uh, pair of boots, and you open that cardboard box, and you smell that brand new leather. Rawhide, I said black leather. Uh, this does to me smell like one of those really heavy black leather jackets that, uh, my parents would buy for me when I was a kid. Um, not to say I didn't like them, but um, it was always special occasions where we had to wear the black leather. Uh, but uh, that 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 note is in the fragrance industry. They're not going to say leather unless it's a part of the concept. They're going to say musk. Musk 
uh, or leather is scented with musk. So that smell that we know of leather, leather shoes, leather bags, purses, wallets, whatever. It's, it's uh, a synthetic musk uh, that's been used for generations now. Uh, but definitely a masculine sort of musk. Um, uh, I don't know where the phrase came from, from the boyfriend candle. I've heard Yankees say it. I've heard a lot of other uh, candle companies use that phrase, the boyfriend candle. And my, I think I have this right. That I think what that means is like this is, uh, you know, uh, for, 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 for women who have a boyfriend or don't have a boyfriend or anyone who has a boyfriend who doesn't, but is it, the person's not around. This, this serves as like an aromatic candle replacement for a boyfriend. And I could definitely see that because this smells like, you know, a young guy working on wall street. He's got the, the, you know, the hip cologne, it's not like the cologne of the 80s, the really thick, vetiver, uh, earthy, you know, uh, uh, polo green, gray flannel, uh, Stetson kind of cologne. This is much more of a modern day men's cologne. And um, there is a little bit of a bright side. There has to be a bright side. It's fruity. I wouldn't classify it as any one fruit because unless maybe I burn it and I get it but uh, they're t one of the top notes on the candle is mandarin orange and citrus like I said citrus it's just kind of a given right it's it's just one way or the other it seems to be in every candle uh, in some shape or form and I definitely get that this is a good candle and I just said this was a boyfriend candle, but honestly, uh, I would, if, if you're a guy and you're looking for something for your apartment to kind of, if you're living that lifestyle, you're a bachelor in your 20s, 30s, you know, like you want to, you know, like I said, I can't help but think about the young professionals. I think it's because it says Soho, the young professionals working on Wall Street. Uh, this is going to fit this aroma with your lifestyle and I think it's going to uh, please you as far as the fragrance. Some people just buy fragrances or clones to please, um, you know, um, I don't know, pl pl you know, uh, you know, impress the women. I don't do that stuff. I just use my natural essence to attract. I don't know what I'm talking about. So that is exclusive to Kendall Power. They told me that you could only buy it in in the shop, in Kendall Power, like right there in the location. However, on the website, on the website it is available for sale so I don't know if things change if they were mistaken but you can get your hands on it and you know what I'm going to recommend it and I will be doing a little bit more of an in-depth um, review on this one of course because there's a lot of things for me that that provokes other than just young professional cologne Whenever I smell black leather, I always think of, and it's funny because she doesn't wear leather, I don't think, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Anybody get to see her at Knott's Berry Farm this year? Uh, I heard it was her last year performing there, which is kind of sad because I never did see her perform there. We're gonna move on to Chesapeake Bay. Lacquer, lacquer, what's lacquer, lacquer? <laughs> We're talking about, okay, there's some, there's some football talk happening here. 
Shane, are you excited to officially get into the Christmas spirit? I honestly, I'm not, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. I, I will come clean. Um, I started Halloween content so early this year and I don't regret it. Uh, I brought a lot of people to the channel, brought a lot of people to the party. Those videos did really well. It was, I was very happy with the work I did to get a lot of those candles early, actually all of the candles early and share them with you uh, first. And I want to give credit for those who helped. Asterisk Brett uh, helped me find a couple of those candles, if you're listening, or Philly's Candleman. But uh, so Halloween, honestly, by the time we got to Halloween, in my mind for the channel, I'm already thinking, uh, I'm back to autumn. I'm back into phase three autumn, uh, trying to film content for and before Thanksgiving. And let me tell you, it's been a rough, it's been a rough holiday season. All good, all good. But, you know, a lot of projects, you know, had the green light, fell through, things didn't get finished. I was going here, going there. And the culmination is not what I was expecting. I was hoping a lot more. So at, when you say, am I ready for Christmas? Yes, because now I don't have to think ahead. There are going to be some massive, major changes, nothing to be worried about uh, come uh, January 2018 with this channel. Nothing to be worried about if anyone is worried. But um, it, it will legitimately be a new beginning, January 1st. It will be, you know, if you want to call it the second season or year two, even though I'll be like 18 months at that point. But from this point to January 2018, I'm in Christmas. I don't have to think ahead. I don't need to think about, okay, the holidays that come afterwards. I'm going to end the year with all Christmas stuff. And once I have all my scheduled segments done and filmed in the can, then I could just do, like, whatever I want, like, spontaneous stuff. You know, drive to some random town and see how they celebrate Christmas. Get that on film. Do a lot more in-between segments. In-betweens is a segment I do. I've only done four episodes where it's everything that happens on my journeys that are not in the big videos. You know, my experience driving, my experience um, uh, with, with hotels, uh, you know, restaurants, food, and I try to make it as entertaining as, as possible, sharing a lot of the difficulties that go along with vlogging, for sharing my misfortune with you folks for hopefully a little bit of a laugh but i want to get more of those done and they are in the making so long long answer i keep brushing my hair back because it i i have just showered recently uh yes i am ready for the christmas season mr crosby in the back is a bit scared and you can't be scared of bing come on bing all right, and we're going to get to the Chesapeake candles right after this. You know, I'm the kind of guy who doesn't, you know, I don't throw the good things away. And what I mean by that, everything that I, I've had since I was a child, really young, teenager, uh, things that, the good things, I've kept. And this is something I've had for a long time. There's a lot of things I throw out. I don't hoard things, but I knew, I think it was probably about 14 when I got this. I'm sure it's available on eBay if you're interested. He plays several Bing, uh, Bing Crosby's Christmas songs. I don't know how the copyright situation on YouTube is going to work here. So I'm going to just play short little bits. The one thing I want to notice is his mouth used to move. It doesn't. So I'm gonna take a look at it, see if I can fix it. But here we go. Bing, take it away. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not shout. I'm telling you why. Why? Santa Claus is coming to town. Gather round. He's making a list. Checking the price. He's gonna find out who's naughty and nice. 
Like I said, several tunes. It's got this nice little Bing Crosby. It looks like metal, but it's plastic. Of course, it's all plastic. But see if you can find them on eBay. Uh, that That is definitely a nice conversation piece. And Bing always, he pulls the strings. He pulls the strings, the heart strings. Watching in Scotland, been sick all day, so a live show about candles is just the thing to cheer me up. Oh, Rosalind, uh, thank you so much for joining, for one, and I'm sorry to hear that you're sick. I hope you feel better. Uh, some football updates from Eric. Um, hello from Atlanta. Curious Cat, thank you for joining Hello from New Jersey, Laura. And... and Cecily's laughing at Eric for something. Oh, because he said football comment. All right, all right, pull together, Shane. Matt Black, so I'm excited. Lacquer. All right. Very cool. I I am reading all your notes or your comments, folks. Oh, Bill Miller. Absolutely. Imagine if there was like Bing um, in... I always wanted him to be dressed like the mailman from Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Um, but he, uh, Bill is saying, what if he was dressed in some kind of autumn clothing and was singing... It goodbye, it goodbye, Crane. I uh, was singing the uh, the tunes from The Legend of Sleepy Hollow by Walt Disney. You seem really tired today. No, no, it's it's probably the lighting. I I, I have very dark circles under my eyes. Uh and I was rushing to get started today. But I guess tired is okay. Yeah, you know what? I can say that I'm tired, right? I'm not really. But uh, with the holidays, there is a lot going on. Chesapeake Bay. Again, exclusive for candle power. This is the time I want you to get excited. This is when I want you to get excited. Because this is, uh, for me, I'm sorry, but Chesapeake Bay, surprise, surprise. Maybe it's not a surprise to some of you folks. Uh, stole the show. Uh, as far as the fragrances go, they had two fragrances. This one is a fall in Central Park. And underneath that, it says uh, black pepper moss. So this is how many ounces? Uh, 12 ounces. Uh, two wick soy blend. They seem to be the same color wax. Uh, I don't, I can't recall if Chesapeake Bay, all the, they're not. I think they do color their wax, but not in the case of these. So fall in Central Park, what does that smell like? There we go. There we go. I wanted to say 80s cologne for a reason, because if you've, and we're going to be talking about more uh, colognes in the future regarding candles. But if you've ever experienced gray flannel, there's a spiciness to it and there's an earthiness to it. Spiciness, not like, you know, baking spices. I'm talking like, I feel like someone put some cayenne pepper or some crushed red pepper flakes in here. Not aromatically, but the sensation of a nice spiced, balanced out with definitely a mossy green 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 vegetation uh green all the way vetiver vetiver uh if you're not familiar with vetiver uh used all the time in perfumery uh, you gotta get familiar with it you have to it's what makes yankee candles um uh b -b 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 christmas tree 
so different than all of the other pine themed candles by Yankee Candle. It really smells like you just pulled plants with deep roots out of the ground, whether it be a tree, whether it be, I don't know, some kind of weeds you're pulling out, and you smell that, that, that earthy, soil-rich, that minerality, but mostly that root from the ground candle. And the fact that it's doing that already, of course, it's bringing me to the fall, to autumn, because when we think of autumn environments, it's all about the ground, right? It's about all of the debris, the leaves, the twigs, the acorns. It's about everything that's on the ground. During the autumn, you have to get uh, down on the ground, your backyard, a park, smell what's going on beneath your feet. Uh, and if you have done that, then this candle, uh, and if you enjoy that experience, this candle is certainly, certainly for you. So if you put on Halston Z14 uh, in the 80s or 90s uh, or now, uh, or like I said, gray flannel, those spicier, more even 70s colognes plus earthiness. Face on the ground, grass, moss, earth, rock, minerality, soil, you name it. And fall, absolutely. Wood, too. Don't let me forget that. There is, uh, for me, it, it is acting like a sappy, like a sappy pine, like a very resinous uh, a, a pine cone or, or a slab of wood, not sandalwood that sweet pine um, smell. But with that said, the pine and the earthiness of the earth, this is totally, totally works for Christmas. Totally works for a Christmas season. In fact, maybe even more, maybe it's even more appropriate for Christmas than fall, but huge thumbs up. I usually don't share my opinions too much. But uh, Chesapeake Bay, fall in Central Park. If you don't have your fingers on the pulse of what these folks are doing, uh, now's the time to really get to it. Uh, because uh, uh, Yankee's parent company, Newell Brands, has, how, has now acquired Chesapeake Bay, just like they did with Woodwick. And uh, they're welcoming Chesapeake Bay into the the fragrance family for new brand. Now I said that with a second. Now I won't say who, but if you're watching um, somebody from Candle Power, if you're watching, um, this one's for you because uh, I was talking with somebody there and they said that this st stole the show. And you know what? It's hard for me to disagree. This one titled New York City at dawn. I don't know. I don't know if that paints a beautiful porch, a portrait just as much as someone who is familiar with New York as it does with people who are not familiar with New York. Like, for example, I've never been to Paris, unfortunately, but if this was called Paris at dawn, I would still have a very romantic picture in my head. So I don't want to say this is uh, just for people who are familiar, live, spend time in New York City. If there's a, if there's that beautiful portrait, like I, uh, you know, think of of uh, Paris, um, in your head, then y you gotta check this one out. This one's called so it's called New York City at Dawn, and underneath that it says Cashmere Plum. Now, if anyone is a Chesapeake Bay um, like fan and can tell me if cashmere plum and black pepper moss are actually candles or fragrances that are already released and maybe these just have a new design and that's why they're exclusive um, because they do have two names essentially. But look at that. It's kind of it's kind of got like that great Gatsby 
the you know the 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 Baz Luhrmann film. It's got that really cool gold trim uh, frame to the labels. The metallic quality. I don't know if you can see the metallic quality of you can't of the label matches that aluminum lid. It's just an aluminum lid, but like Bath and Body Works. You can see it's got a copper or brass finish. And um, not to be negative, I'm never negative, but I, what, one thing that kills me is fingerprints. And just like Bath and Body Works, you see there, I put my fingerprint on it. And not just that, if I just rub my fingernail on it like that, it will leave a little line. Not to say you can't buff it out, but man, I, I, I cannot, I cannot, I have to polish these now. And I got this cowlick. Can we live with that? I can live with it. But you guys have to look at it. So what is this in New York City at dawn all about? This thing. You know, a part of me, a part of me wants to say, like, this thing is pulling in so many different directions. It, It's a cacophony of aromas to the point where upon first sniff, second sniff, you might be like, wow, man, like there's just no direction here. But I usually, uh, you know, I don't say stuff like that because pulling in different directions, contrasting aromas, things that complement each other, but also contrast each other, and things that bridge each other. Those are three big concepts when it comes to fragrance. Um, all three of those things are happening here. There is a nuttiness, there is a fruitiness, like fruitiness, like red fruit berries. But there is a nuttiness like raw almonds, raw cashews. You ever have like those really expensive like health food store raw almonds and they're just incredibly creamy, nutty, uh, or even um, cashew butter, almond butter. There are several wood notes. So the, the base notes are going to be focusing on mainly wood instead of the earthy herbaceous. And uh, it's, 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 you know what it is? It's this contrast of nutty and fruity. Stone fruit, peach, uh, white peach, apricot, whatever you want to call it. Um, but, um, and for me, the nuttiness and being that this is kind of, it's called cashmere and plum. Uh, plum being a stone fruit as well. It, uh, it's, it, to me, this is, it's all about, it's, it's about the contrast. I could see some folks not liking it because there is a lot going on. But at the same time, if you just want explosions of, in my video, I said a shape shifter. That's what this candle is. For a few moments, you might smell the fruitiness, but other moments, you're going to smell the creaminess. You're going to smell the nuttiness. It's going to provoke those images of acorns or chestnuts roasting on a fire. No smoke in here, but still, those images will come to mind. At other moments, you're going to be thinking of, you know, cabins, log cabins, cottages, decks, uh, you know, lumber to build structures, patios. And I'm going to go on a limb. There are, uh, I know there's florals here, but I, I, I just I want to go with neroli. Neroli is essentially, essentially orange blossom. It's used all of the time in Bath and Body products, but it has this perceived tart, br briny smell. Now that sounds kind of gross. Brine like pickles or olives. But it's not unpleasant at all. It has this sharp smell to it. Um, but it's adding to the fruity side of that candle as well. Full review, a little less scatterbrained than um, I am right now. That's all coming up.
Does anybody have these candles? But Art Deco, Art Deco. Ah, Cecily brings up a good point. New York City at dawn and fall in Central Park. They do have the the silent film, the the brackets you see around the written um, stage direction or dialogue in silent films. That's an interesting point. I, no, Rachel. Rachel asked, "Will Yankee start selling them in stores?" I mean, I can, I can't say no. Like I know for sure, but everything that I've been told by multiple sources, um, the answer is no. Even the website, but even the bigger uh, reasoning behind me saying no is that, you know, I I call Yankee Candle outlets all over the country. Every single one, uh, weekly, bi-weekly basis, and most of them know me by now, not for the candle enthusiast, but no, it's this crazy guy who wants to know what just came in. I kind of try to keep track of what's coming into all of the outlets, especially in certain pockets of the country, and for those candles, for City Lights, um, of course the Chesapeake Bay, but the Soho Candle Woodwick, the outlets, I haven't found any of them in any of the outlets, whether in person or over the phone. Ba, 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 ba. And... Um, just popping in to say hi, need to have an assignment finished in a couple of hours. I'll watch the recording. Uh, well, that's great. E-M-I-V. Um, also, the Dutch Yankee Candle supplier told me she would check out your channel. Hopefully she will. Uh, well, yeah, that would be awesome, wouldn't it? I still am, 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 am amazed and so flattered that, um... Yankee Candle Czech Republic gave me like this completely unasked for shout out on their Facebook page. Yankee Candle US. Did you hear that? All right. We got we got more. We got more. So this one is it, it was it's featured at Candle Power. You can buy it at Candle Power. You can buy it on Candle Power's website. But this is going to be a brand new fragrance. You guys, this is the last thing you probably want to hear right now. But this is going to be one of the 2018 spring collections. In my video, when I'm lying, laying, excuse me, laying in the flowers like Alice in Wonderland, where the woman said I looked like a baby, um, there was a candle called, it's over here, let me grab it. Oh, man. And just a heads up, be excited. Uh, especially if you are not a fan of floral scents. Because this is an amazing floral scent. It does smell uh, like uh, some form of spring of blossom. However, it's going to be dominated by fruitiness. So this one titled Sun Drenched Apricot Rose. This is for sale in person and on the site. Um, now this, I'm going to be reviewing all of the spring collection um, December 26th, the day they come out, or at least that's when my video will be posted. I'll try to get it done in advance. I have all the fragrance, fragrances, they're ready to go. Um, but I want to, I want to, like I said, stay, st we're staying in Christmas until Christmas is over. Man, this is like, it reminds me of, what was it? Is it G Georgia Peach Bath and Body Works in that it's that super ripe peach 
apricot, stone fruit, white peach, any stone fruit that's peachy, but super ripe in that it's incredibly sweet, but also candy-esque. Um, I always say that Georgia Peach Candle from Bath & Body Works smells like, uh, like peach lip balm or like peach Jolly Ranchers or like a peach syrup, a condensed form of peach, uh, peach, uh, uh, peach schnapps, right? That super concentrated peach smell. Uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, I, 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 it is so refreshing, the smell that it makes me want to like drink peach juice, some form of juice, some fruity cocktail beverage, but you do get that also with the concentration, that dehydrated uh, apricot as well. So if you love the snack on those raisinated, uh, dehydrated fruits, stone fruits, certainly. And the floral component to me, it says rose. It could be rose, but for me, it's a nice, gentle, white blossom aroma. Uh, gentle... I know that's subjective. Gentle in that it's going to be in the background where the main player is this refreshing, fruity splash ocean spray of um, delightful, delightful uh, stone fruit, peach, apricot, nectarine. Oh, wow. And perhaps a little bit of... Uh, of a wood base note, very, very little. I don't think they'll list that in in their description, but something to give it a little bit of that vegetation, greenage, uh, rose bush quality. Sun-drenched apricot rose. Uh, like I said, uh, this will be evaluated in my I guess it's the annual, it's only the second year, but my annual uh, preview of the spring collection. Uh, those candles being, not all of them, but uh, the four will, four of the eventual six will be released on December 26th. Conveniently, the day right after Christmas, when the malls are super busy. All right. How much we at, we're almost at an hour already I don't know if we're gonna make it through all this stuff uh, I wanted to do this first because I met a completely random couple and baby uh, at the Yankee Candle Village and they had that look on their face where they were trying to find something very specific and they weren't having luck you know that look when you're looking for something or so you see someone looking for something and they just have that look of determination to find it. Well, I saw that look and I jumped on it. I jumped on that situation. And I said, folks, is there something that you're looking for? Acting like I was working for Yankee Candle. Or not, I wasn't trying to look like an employee, but I was trying to be a fellow friendly Yankee Candle consumer and help them out. And she said, I'm looking for... Song of the Angel, or Angels, plural. And I'm like, do you mean Sparkling Angel? She's like, no. Uh, angel Wings? No. Snow Angel? No. And I'm thinking, like, wait a minute. Song of the Angels. Does anybody know this fragrance? I, I have to admit, this is one, somehow, uh... I never encountered it was I don't know what the origin of the candle was when it first appeared but for a major piece of its history it was exclusive to the South Deerfield flagship store and if you Google search it or you look on eBay you'll see astronomical prices for it for sale um, and um, and some really, di they're different. The, there's some different labels on it. Very pretty. Um, I told that couple, give me two weeks. Two weeks, I'll find the candle. And then I told them to check out the Candle Enthusiast channel. 
and um, if if they did and they if they they saw me with it I would send it to them I was hoping for a jar however I didn't get a jar I received um, three votives might as well just take out one now it must have been released one year um, I can't say when uh, but around those years when the country kitchen label came back out very strange uh, one for country candle but based on the notes of the original candle and me giving this a sniff this is the same fragrance song of the angels and holy 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 angel holy angel um this is why yankees this not around you know you know how much i love angel's wings and sparkling angel i adore i adore the new label on it this year but this this belongs this belongs in uh, a christmas lineup it, it certainly does this has floral components this has minty herbaceous components it smells like candy but it also it also smells like really like fresh mold uh, uh or macerated uh mint it smells like um you know uh, f a fabric softener which you always i always say which is 99 percent of the time a mixture of uh, blossoms, fresh flowers, dehydrated flowers, and citrus. And there is that lemony, lemony pine or lemongrass uh, smell that's coming through. Uh, almost like blue spruce pine needles. You get that, it's more of this winter time in the forest feel than it is Christmas time inside by the Christmas tree. This feels like I'm outside. This feels like I'm, I'm uh, I am, you know, I've got a, a, a mint flavored candy cane holding a bouquet of flowers, walking in the woods, fresh snow falling, just like this. Uh, definitely heavenly divine whatever you want to call it uh, I think it's beautifully named song of the angels Christmas Christmas winter time Yankee I, I you know one of my new questions I'm going to ask you when uh, ever I see you is what happened to this candle why you know it it smells great this has got to be like five six years old this candle right here maybe older and it still is enormously fragrant and the candle is gone maybe there's just too many too many angel themed candles maybe that's what it is who knows but i don't know uh so if you are that couple from south deerfield uh that i bumped into that day um my email is i gave you my card you can email me there. You can call me on that card uh, or candleenthusiast at yahoo.com. If you're that couple, couple looking for this candle, uh, these three votives are going to you. Uh, just reach out. I don't know if they're going to find it this deep in a live episode, though. So I think... Does it smell like Winter Garden? It does. Winter gar Garden is a little bit more of that laundry room, bigger floral smell. Um, Winter Garden, uh, this is a 2014, which was its original release right here. Yeah, I mean, it definitely, it, I, actually, you're right. I mean, it, there are similarities. I, d I don't get the, the, the amount of mint or uh, wintergreen. I do, I get much more wood. Straight up cedar, fresh cut split wood for the fire. Uh, maybe some birch. And it's always hard to tell when, when the candle has lit. This one did not. Look at that. 
I am not proud of that. Um, this was not poorly burned by myself. But there's a there's smoke in there. And I can't, you know, you can't ever really tell if a candle's lit if that's just smoke taint. You know, there's apple. Apple in here. There's a little bit of, like, cinnamon apple... It's like if you burn like cinnamon apple meets sugared apple meets um, cedar, 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 cedar. Um, well, you know what I mean. Thank you for asking that question. Um, I wanted to address that candle because it's now available again on uh, as an online exclusive for Yankee Candle. Tiffany, uh, or Rachel says, I had a milk cup and I had to get rid of it. It was too strong for me. Didn't care for it, Tiffany, too, too overwhelming. Christmas candle giveaway. Uh, just because you asked, yes, there will be. I got to think of a, a good way to really promote it, though. Give me a chance this week. I'm not traveling this week. Give me a chance to figure out how I want to promote it because I want to... First, I want to make sure that I'm giving, all, giving away a good candle. Um, and I want to... Like... Uh, I want to, like... Um, really make sure that I'm giving everybody an opportunity to participate. I've done Instagram things before. I've done Facebook things before. I've done Twitter things before. And not everyone's on the up and up with social media. So f let me figure out a way to do it fairly so that it's available to everybody. Um, but what you can do, who asked that question? Uh, it was Hollow's Eve Haunted Rat. Wow, that's a name right there. Uh, in the comments below when this video is officially posted, give me recommendations. What do you want as far as a giveaway? Do we want, you know, contemporary candles? This is currently up on the Candle Enthusiast or Aromatic Adventures eBay page. This is uh, Zesty Orange Spice Garland. This is new. It's the online exclusive, though, for 2017. On the back, we have... Um, the personalized limited edition limited to six uh, happy uh, or merry christmas 2000 candle enthusiast logo on the back or if you would rather see me do something this is also on ebay uh right now this is a not vintage not retro but this is a legit uh, 2009 gingerbread right out of my collection and I have put this up on eBay. Again, all the proceeds go back into the show. Why? Because this thing smells out of control. Out of control. I have 2014 pours, 13 pours of that. But here is a 2017 pour. Again, this was online exclusive uh, or... It just went to a lot of the outlets. It is a, it's a, it's a non-cream or yellow uh, outlet label, but it is a 2017 and a two-wick soy tumbler. Smells wonderful. Smells like gingerbread. However, um, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if the contemporary candles by Yankee Candle will smell this outrageously good. Maybe they improve with age under the right conditions. But at least uh, when they were making them uh, back in those days, 2009, this thing is out of control. There's so much oil in this guy. So if you're interested in taking that from my collection, make sure you check out its uh, just search. Uh, well, here, let me type it in. It's ebay.com slash USR. 
slash aromatic adventures. Uh, or you could just search gingerbread Yankee candle and it will come up. Um, and then make sure you follow the, that eBay page because I sporadically just put up some goodies. And again, this is not a way for me to make money. This is a way to fund the show. Um, I've gotten to the point where I have these really nice collectible pieces. This is a nice little piece. Uh, Cecily just got my my Christmas cookie, Black Band. Um, and, you know, it's sad to depart with these candles. But, you know, what? I, I want to pass it on. I want to spread the love. I want you guys to have them. And what's most important to me is that we have the funding to do more adventures, to do more attractions, to go places. And um, we're really doing well on eBay. And a huge shout out to uh, Mark Smith. Really got his hands full of a lot of those rare Kringle candle. Rare is not even the correct word for it. Um, just almost impossible to find 2014 retired Halloween collection candles. I do have more of them, but I'm going to put a pause on them for a while uh, and uh, make you guys wait a little longer who still want them. But write me an email if you have an interesting story and a, a very special reason why you need those candles, and maybe we can we can work something out. Oh, and Cecily says, it smells so amazing. I'm glad to be the owner of that, that black band uh, Christmas cookie candle. Now, Cecily, be 100% honest here. Honesty. So it's not coming from my mouth. If I handed you that jar without you looking at it, without you knowing what it is, told you it was Christmas cookie, does it smell like a candle that would be 20 plus years old? Or let's say at least 18 years old. Does it smell like a product that was poured 18, 20 years ago? Be honest. Be honest. And you can elaborate on that as well. Um... Something I have to find time to talk about. This, when I say I find the strangest things on the road, this is what I'm talking about. And I am so excited. I don't know how this is going to fit into the Christmas content. It's very hard to read the glass. But that does indeed say Sleepy Hollow. Is there a candle company? Um, scented, no, it's a Sleepy Hollow scented candle. And it's got a little R with a circle around it, reserved. Um, so uh, I don't know much about this company. I've, 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 heard, I've heard around that there's a Sleepy Hollow company, but it wasn't based out of uh, New York. In fact, yeah, so this one is East Waterbridge, or excuse me, East Bridgewater, Massachusetts. Uh, look them up. See if they're still around. I have yet to do that. But the reason why I bought this is not because it says Sleepy Hollow. You see there's that little sticker here. Um, it says French Vanilla. And when I found this candle, it was sitting next to a cream-colored candle by Sleepy Hollow. Same identical-looking candle, just different color wax. But it also said French Vanilla. And this blew my mind. I'm like, wait a minute. Do they sell it in two different colors? I mean, maybe they could. Vanilla, a lot of people associate vanilla with the cream color. But the vanilla bean is a dark black, dark brown color. Somebody, somebody has to burn this candle and share their thoughts. Uh, I, I, I got two. I have two of them. That's all they had. And... Um, I definitely don't want to burn mine because this smells, yeah, it smells like vanilla, but it smells like raisins. It smells like coffee. It smells like outdoors. It smells like romanticized foliage, meaning not real like leaves, but what we, you know, the fragrance world calls freshly fallen leaves. It smells like chocolate. Man, this smells like the most delicious chocolate slash coffee based beverage uh, does it smell like vanilla? Yeah, of course it smells like vanilla. 
but I have to, I, uh, I don't want to burn mine. I, I want to keep mine and uh, unburned because uh, this is still, this looks like an old candle, but it still smells wonderful. It looks like it's been it's stored in great condition. I mean, there's, look how beautiful that lid is. Um, no kind of um, volatizing happening. And the wick looks like it's in good shape. Eventually, I'm going to talk about this candle, uh, put it up on eBay, but I want someone to burn it. And I want you to come back to us and give us your interpretation, your experience of this candle. Really interesting find. And it smells masculine too, man. Like, it's like if you came across the Headless Horseman on like a day off, like where he wasn't going around cutting people's heads off, and he's just chilling in Sleepy Hollow, sipping on like, like a, 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 a mocha coffee espresso beverage, you know, just riding, riding the horse, uh, the black steed, uh, you know, just kind of roaming around the cemetery, something like that. In the autumn, um, you get a little bit of that, that, like, grandfather, you know, uh, fa or fatherly cologne in there, too. A lot of things happening in this candle, and if anybody has any information on it, Please, please share it. I just, I'm too busy to be searching and trying to like research all of these things when I'm trying to put together all of these videos for you folks. So, um, which reminds me, a perfect place to share such information would be the Facebook page. Rachel, if you're still here, could you throw in the link? Or somebody, can you throw in the link to the Candle Enthusiast Facebook page moderated by uh, Rachel, who's done an incredible job um, creating a community of positivity. No drama happening at the Candle Enthusiast page. Nobody shoving opinions down each other's throats. And I hope it stays that way because it's always been a great experience. Uh, visiting and, and hearing what you guys have to say. I feel like the, the Facebook page is spawning other candle uh, YouTube channels. Um, uh, shout out to Philly, Philly's uh, Philly Candleman. Um, you know, he's, he's doing well. He's focusing on great stuff. Uh, Brett. And Doug from Spooky Villages. Um, I really am so behind on watching videos on YouTube. But yeah, I, you know, it, you know, it's like he had his own channel last year, whenever it was. But he's kind of started doing candles and Halloween decorative things, and he's doing an amazing job now. It's I feel like we're creating, we're creating. Uh, a rather positive movement as far as candles on YouTube which was my goal from the beginning so uh, spooky villages check check Doug out something I talk about a lot angels wings uh, I have a story and 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 um, and the, the title of this video this line says story time I didn't know what else to call it but do you know those things that happen from time to time in your life where you're like wait a minute how did that happen or did that really just happen or maybe you think about something that happened days or weeks or years down the line and when you think back on it you're like hmm there's something very curious about that situation. And I want to share a story that, uh, something that happened to me very recently. Um, you all have to know by now um, that uh, I, I uh, did a, a rather long video, a tribute to Mary Tyler Moore. That video was for me. I, I did it for me. I, I obviously, I, I guess I'm so thrilled that you folks 
um, watched it, liked it, uh, left wonderful comments, but that one was for me, and and I just documented the experience. But what I did was, after Mary Tyler Moore passed away in uh, late February, uh, I thought about, well, what can I do? You know, it's hard to express with friends and family what certain icons, how they, icons have, you know, moved you, touched you, changed you throughout your lifetime. And I really just didn't know how I could make, mark that, the passing of Mary Tyler Moore, to put a bookmark in my life of that moment. And I came up with, well, I'm going to make a very special box. I'm going to put angel's wings into that box and I'm going to bring it to Mary's final resting place in Connecticut. And that's exactly what I did. But what I didn't show you on the video, there were other things in that box, very uh, personal things, you know, just well, not very personal, but it was uh, a personal letter to Mary. Um, there was, uh, you know, some information there. If a family member or a close friend found it, just said, you know, feel free to, to, to take it, the box, if it's special to you, so it doesn't get thrown, thrown away. Um, but one, one other thing that I put in there that I don't mind sharing is, remember the, in Friends, how Phoebe started that kind of catchphrase, uh, uh, he's her lobster. She tells the story about how lobsters would hold claws, right? It was kind of a running joke throughout the television show, Friends. Uh, well, this was a jo that joke, or that, not a joke, but that those lines uh, for Friends was taken right from something that was happening topically at the time, which was Mary Tyler Moore was, um, uh, I won't get into the story, but she was trying to st stop um, the the damage of or the the over consumption of gathering lobsters from the sea. Um, and she said, I can't say verbatim or quote her what she said, but she essentially said the same thing. She was trying to express how uh, even lobsters they show emotion, how they hold claws, they have affection for one another. So what, in the box, I bought two little, two little lobsters, two little lobsters, right? And what I did was I, I took their claws and I put them together and I kind of wrapped a little rope or string around it. So it was this kind of two lobsters side by side and I dropped it in the box. I thought that, you know, because her, her passion for for loving all animals, and um, it, was, it was a very large part of her life. I thought that she would enjoy that. So after all of that, I just said, about a month ago, I was experiencing a pretty, pretty rough day. Um, you know, um, it was all vlog related, you know, editing was an issue, emails were coming in that I had to do, there was filming that I had to get done, I felt very pressured, I felt very overwhelmed, just like we all do, uh, from time to time, if not always, but I was just being not, I wasn't being myself, I was being very negative, uh, not to anyone else, but just to me, and... Got in my car to go for a little drive, and I found something in a cup holder. Obviously, no one drives my car other than me, and I use the same cup holder all of the time um, when I buy my coffee. There was something in that cup holder, and I would like to show you what that was. Now, this isn't something that looks similar. This is not something that's almost what I put in that box for Mary. This is the same exact lobster that I put in Mary Tyler Moore's box. Um, and wow, um, I was 
thrown off guard. This, I'll tell you exactly where I bought this. Uh, I bought this at, um, uh, I believe it was a craft store and it came in a package of two. I couldn't believe it. It gave me the whole idea of putting the two lobsters together. You see that is a lobster, the little claws. This isn't close to what I left with Mary. This is what I left to Mary. Now, I don't want to get into everyone's beliefs uh, as far as divine, holy, miracle, coincidence. Um, but what I will say, what the statement I will say um, is that my day got a whole lot better after I found this in my car. So take that for what you will. Um, but there's little things like this that happen in life. Please don't ignore them for your own sake. Um, there's limitless possibilities of how this got in my car. The limitless. You know, maybe I bought two packages of lobsters, and I don't remember, and somehow I got my couple. I, I don't know. I don't know. But either way, what I, you know, what I took away from it was that really cheered me up that day. I was no longer feeling negative. Almost as if someone was reaching out and saying, you know what? It's okay. Take a deep breath. Clear your head. Things are going to be just fine. Uh, so that's my little story. Um, uh, less, that kind of stuff doesn't happen to me all the time. I'm a very rational, logical person. So, you know, I'm always trying to think of scientific ways around things like that. But I really can't. I don't, I don't even want to try to fight that one. That was just weird. Very strange. Synchronicity. Absolutely. Um... <laughs> It's funny, synchronicity. I would always say that in high school and college um, to get out of a philosophical conversation. Synchronicity. But it's true. Carl Jung. If you haven't read it, pick it up. Oh, yeah. I mean, the last, there was definitely two in the box, right? Yeah, I mean, because they were... I mean, they were bound together. And not only that, but I, I specifically remember, because I didn't have the lobsters in the box uh, during the video when I put the box next to uh, her beautiful angel tombstone. Um, I actually had the two outside of the box, and I dropped it in the box, closed the box, and that is where that box stayed. Um when I left and there's even another story that goes along with that experience that I won't get into today but uh, man uh, so as far as comments today uh, if you have one of these stories to tell uh, please remember to come back to this video and uh, sh share your story if you don't mind or or go to the the Facebook page and share your story Mark Smith how you doing we talked about you a couple times today um, ba -ba -ba -ba. and uh, let us finish up with it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Well, that, we kind of touched on that before. Uh, things are all... We're, we're Christmas from this point on until Christmas is over. No more interruptions. I have the week off, so the evaluations are getting done. And then I am going to be hitting the road one last time. We're going to be visiting some, some familiar places some not so familiar places and let me tell you i'm gonna be wearing this hat because where we're going it's going to be cold this right here is a hand knit knitted hand knit i never knew how to 
say it correctly, but this is a handmade hat by Cecily, by Cecily Erk. She made this. She made this for me. This is awesome. I love it. It fits my, I have an amazingly large cranium head and it fits perfectly. I like it. It's my new favorite hat. I'm going to be wearing it. Cecily, thank you so much. Uh, uh, she also provided that coffee. And look, look at this. A little Elsa that she sent along. I got to open up uh, this box at the Thanksgiving Day table. And we were all laughing and having a great time. Um, my favorite princess, don't tell Elsa this, uh, Belle from Beauty and the Beast. And you can't just have Elsa. You got you to gotta throw Anna in there. Uh, Anna is the real hero of Frozen. Has anyone seen uh, Olaf's uh, short, the Christmas short, uh, before Coco yet? Has anyone gone out and seen it? Uh, I'm going to wait a little bit because um, I know it's, it's, it's rather busy, um, the, the, the movie theaters at this time of the year. But my brother saw it, and my brother and my sister-in-law saw it, and they loved it. I love this. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, this is adorable. What is this? Is this a glove? It's not a glove. This is my dog, my puppy, my little teacup Maltese dog who's not with me today right now. She's with uh, Grandma. But this is a beautifully made, look at that, dress for Elsa, and she's already worn it. And I try to take good pictures, but she runs around like Superman. You can't keep her still for a second to get a good photo. Um, I had something like this for her, uh, but this, by and large, uh, so much, so much, so much prettier, so much cooler. I love it. It's exactly what I wanted for special occasion when family is over. To get her dressed up. Uh, some goodies. Look at this. I'm always telling you folks, don't spend money. If you're gonna send me something for the live show, send you know, send uh, you know, a few little trinkets, something for me to smell, something for me to taste, something for me to to well, I can't I guess you can't like send beverages, but a bunch of peanuts. Items. Now, if you haven't noticed already, a lot of these gifts you would think would be going to a child. And yet, I have 100%, I was so I was so excited to receive everything in this little care package. All this stuff will go to great use. I, I guess I'm just a child at heart. I guess maybe when I was a kid, I, I sang the song too much. Um, I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. I sang it too much that my wish came true. And uh, something very special that she, uh, Cecily also sent uh, are some pretty, pretty amazing candles. Let me start with this one. This one, uh, I want to show you guys because I would recommend these in a second to anybody. Um, it says on the box, Mikkel Design Works. The candle name is called Winter Woods and it says Soy Wax Candles underneath it. Look at that packaging. See that? It's got like a gift rack, uh, wrapping on the top. It's got the full forest with metallic, uh, you can see the little metallic sparkles there. And it's got little feet. It's got little feet so it could stand tall. Um, and inside, we, of course, have a candle. Beautiful packaging. This is by, um, I wonder if that's what just uh, the name of the, the candle is, is McHale Design Works. It might be Winter Woods. I have to do more research, but I'll tell you what. Uh, this thing smells amazing. Big white blossom. We said white blossom a lot today, but no, 
no kidding around. This is white blossom. I'm saying white blossom because I'm thinking of winter time, but a really uh, beautiful, uh, gentle, feminine, if you want to use that word, musk, floral musk. It's going to have that soft, velvety, white, creamy, lotion-based soaps, whether that's ivory or whatever uh, beautiful uh, smelling white soap that you use. I know there's tons of them out there. Uh, but there is, of course, more going on. There is fresh mint, fresh mint that adds to the cooling sensation. Uh, again, it's going to give you that cooling sensation in your nose pass na nasal passages, making you feel like you're outdoors in this, this beautiful winter woods. And there is certainly a balsam, uh, balsam action as well. A little bit of that sweet pine, but mainly the wood, the, the trunk of the tree, the bark, the, the, the resin, the sap, whatever we want to call it. It's less of the pine needle and more of that freshly cut uh, pine tree, hemlock tree right out of the forest. Beautiful candle. I can't think of a better profile, at least for me, to burn in like, like a master bathroom or a guest bathroom. I guess that's where you want your guests to smell your candles, um, but very nice, very nice. Thank you so much, Cecily. Uh, this will go to great use. And, but I have to say this one, right? She said another candle. Uh, this one really did it for me. Uh, excellent. Uh, of course, we've all probably heard this name, uh, you know, Trap Fragrances in passing. I am, uh, I will fully admit that I, I probably smelled a few in my life, but I've never had one. I've never burned one. Um, let's remind ourselves, Trap Candle or Fragrances is going to be out of Kansas City, Missouri. So I believe uh, very close to where Cecily resides. And look at the packaging. Look at this little elastic band fits around this this knob, right? love this stuff and it has that little window this one called a uh, number 68 teak and ode wood and that is for sure what is happening with this candle this is oh man massively sweet vanillin vanillin tobacco if you've ever walked into a quality quality cigar walk-in humidor um you're gonna you're gonna smell uh you're gonna smell this it's like this divine collision of vanilla bean exotic vanilla bean and um um like dried uh dried fruit raisinated fruit i always say raisin uh, because i'm so familiar with with wine grapes, um, when you when you walk around the vineyards, late, 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 late in the season, you'll see all of those little dehydrated raisins hanging from the vines. But that sweet, unburned tobacco smell, teak wood, teak wood, is uh, a real wood. It's it's a it's a hardwood, I believe, and it's it's not really used in the United States. But it, it's used for building ships. It's used for building really, really rugged, tough, long-lasting structures, buildings. Um, and that's what this smells like. This smells like, you know, this a, a stroll around uh, Captain Sparrow's pirate ship. You know, the old pieces of wood and the new pieces of wood. Because that old wood is going to come to play with more of that antique, antique store um, uh, aroma. 
So uh, vanillin, again, vanillin compound that's found in a lot of things. Uh, I'm not saying vanilla, vanillin. It comes from, it's a compound that comes from wood. It's very abundant in wood. Uh, I'm not saying there's not vanilla in here to expand upon that. But this is like, if you want that classic, you know what, you know what, like, serious, serious. I know there's probably so many companies out there who make like a Gilmore Girls Rory themed candle, library themed candle. We're starting to see them all over the place, but especially like Rory, um, you know, this is like, if you are just a book lover and you love to spend the time in old and new libraries with ancient text and volumes that line the wall, the scene like when Belle walks into the Beast's personal library and that excitement on her face. If you are a book nerd in a good way like that, this is something that uh, you really should look at. I can't confirm the price point uh, on this candle, um, but um, to me, this is easily worth up to 25 and I know it's 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 not I don't believe it's that much I could be wrong but uh, definitely an, an affordable luxury candle right here this one is mine I mean all of these candles are mine but I cannot I'm going to burn this one I'm going to enjoy it I'm not gonna burn it all in one shot I'm gonna save it for very special location. So one more time, really uh, from the bottom of my heart, Cecily, thank you for all of these wonderful tokens. Um, this stuff means the world to me. But for you, don't, for you of those out there, don't feel like you have to send me these care packages. I would love for the lives, again, just send me something that cost you like a dollar. A dollar to purchase, a dollar to ship. I'll open it up. Well, you know, if it's candy from your childhood, I'll taste it. I, I just be creative with it. Um. Uh, yes, and Cecily says you're very welcome. I really do appreciate it. Um. And yeah, if, you, if any of you guys are like Pirates of the Caribbean fans, not so much the film. Uh, I like, I like, I liked, I liked, I think I liked at least one of them. Um, but when I think of Pirates of the Caribbean, it's always the first ride I get on when I go to Disneyland. And if you've never been to Pirates of the Caribbean in Disneyland, uh, man, it's just, there's something about, there's something about getting into that flume and like the opening few moments of that ride. I don't know what they're doing to make that smell or how that smell was created, but it's just a smell that you wish you could trap in a jar and have it to enjoy any time. Shane, are there any plans for a trip to Colonial Williamsburg? Uh, yeah. Um, that was something I wanted to do this season. Uh, it was one of the things that unfortunately um, that was cut very early on. Remember, I also wanted to do Tennessee. I'm like, I want to do the Smoky Mountains. A lot of things um, based on the direction of this channel, changes to this channel, me trying to, to work with and collaborate with other companies, um, doing prep work for next year uh, a lot of things got cut unfortunately but the good news is we're going to go i mean how could we not uh, i need to visit with the williamsburg flagship store yankee candle um uh wait a minute what did Tennessee, the same thing, Arkansas? Um, Tennessee will, will do. Gatlinburg, the Pigeon Forge area, is something that I've wanted to do 
for a very, very long time, but if any of you Adam Nawu fans out there, uh, he really sold me on the idea. Um, I think it's a perfect place for, a, for, for the Candle Enthusiast channel. And as far as Arkansas, um, yeah, of course. I mean, anywhere I'm going to go. I, I, don't, I can't think of anything on top of my head what I would focus on. I'm in Arkansas, but I'm sure there's tons of things to do. Okay, so it was a joke. So maybe I should, as if it's... <laughs> All right. We'll let that one go. I'll read that later. But here's another. What did Delaware... Okay. All right, I see, I see what's happening here. <laughs> what did Della wear? I'm slow with these. Della, what, she wore a, a brand new jersey. It's not an awful joke. It's actually a pretty good joke. Um, any questions before we wrap things up for the day? I've been trying to... I really, really have been trying to keep these... Get these to be shorter. Um, but, you know, mostly give me like 30 minutes every Sunday. But uh, one thing leads to another. I always have more things to talk about. There's still things I haven't talked about here. Like, um, this mug, this ancient... Per, nearly perfect condition, and unless you consider a few scuffs on the bottom of that to be a problem. This is an unused retro Yankee Candle mug. They don't make these anymore. Um, that's going to go up on eBay. Subscription box, people. I don't think I see any of the subscription members with us today. But your Christmas box will be shipped on the 5th of December. Uh, if you're interested in a subscription box, unfortunately, the Christmas one's a little too late. You can still sign up for the subscription box because there's limited slots. But um, the Christmas ones are already complete. This was kind of a prototype of last month's. Um, it was completely decked out, but it was an Alice in Wonderland themed box for the month of November. And all of the goodies, all of the candles and exciting other aromatic products that come inside are all tied together with that theme of Alice in Wonderland. The theme for, the Chris, uh, for December for Christmas is the night before Christmas. And this is the one I'm most excited about. Um, so if you are signed up for the subscription box, expect uh, a tracking number via email on the 5th of December. Did I draw that picture? I would love to say yes. And they could, but I'm an honest person. No, I did not draw that picture. Uh, would have been cool though, huh? Uh, and speaking of that, uh, Patreon.com. Look, folks, if you go on Patreon.com, I can understand in an instant how this could seem like, wait a minute, this guy's trying to get, he's got an eBay account, he's got a Patreon account, he's trying to sap money out of his viewers. Uh, but trust me, trust me, trust me when I'm saying, when I say that these, these trips, these videos, they all come at a price, a price that gladly comes out of my wallet. And I never, ever, ever want you to spend a dime on my content. My content is free, free, always will be free. You can watch it as many times as you want. However, on the other hand, uh, like a PBS, right? If you would like to throw some coins in the bin, a little pool of cash, uh, so that we can 
increase the amount of videos, increase the amount of travel, to increase all of the many things, all of the, 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 the receipts, the price tags that, that come along with making these videos. There is a wonderful community of 31 uh, uh, patrons of The Candle Enthusiast. Uh, Patreon.com slash The Candle Enthusiast. That link is always going to be in my, um, my description down below. So check that out. $1. $1. One dollar. If I if I if I could, if I could do less than one dollar, I would gladly accept it. But Patreon cuts it off at one dollar. One dollar is more than enough. If everyone threw in a dollar, we'd have content three, four, five times a week. A um, lot of work for me, but uh, we, we would have the funding to do that. So if you have a few extra coins in your pocket, or if you want to do something, you know, like a premium thing like this, uh, like a subscription box, again, all of the proceeds go into, uh, the funding of the show, but you get a little something out of it too. Um, so check out, at least go through patreon.com, my account to see what it's about. Uh, these days, YouTube, really, uh, being a vlogger, uh, being a per, you know, being a person that has to edit, produce, film, travel, do all these things. It's a very hard thing to do. I don't want to be paid for that. All I want to do is just make sure that I'm giving you guys great free content. I hope that comes through, and I hope no one is offended by the fact that. I'm essentially asking possibly, maybe, for f some folks to contribute or pledge money. It's not the message, because like I said, content is free, and we have lots coming up for Christmas, but the main, the main thing is we're making, like I said, we're making major changes this, this, this upcoming year. Um, to the channel, expanding in many directions, uh, going to really balance out this channel as far as not being so all over the place. Make it very clean, precise, and uh, strengthen our communication, strengthen our community. Uh, we'll have a brand new website um, that will be launched in January. Yet yeah, another way to strengthen our communication. Uh, that is it for me, folks. Uh, uh, if you haven't subscribed and you're watching the show, if you've checked out my show, or if this is the first time you're joining us, please subscribe, please. You can always unsubscribe. It's just a click of the button. And if the notifications bother you, there's a little bell. There's a little bell. Not bell like, you know, the little like Beauty and the Beast bell. But there's a little bell next to the subscribe button. That will turn off all notifications so you can watch at your own pace. Um, and more than that, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. But spread the love. I want to give a huge thank you to those who tweeted out to Yankee Candle, uh, who Facebook messaged. Somebody... A uh, really, really loyal follower actually hand wrote a letter to Yankee Candle uh, trying to have Yankee Candle get, get their attention, have them see this channel, see what's going on, have them notice that this is a place for positivity. We're not ragging on Yankee Candle. We're just here to spread our passion, our love and to uh, educate ourselves, learn from one another, and keep growing and growing and growing. And to grow, we need more friends. We need more people. So uh, thank you again once for joining. If you haven't hit that thumbs up button and you care to do that, please do that. Um, get a couple friends. Sh sh uh, share a link, out, uh, a link via text, email, sh your favorite video to them. See if they're interested in the show. Keep the tweets coming or going to Yankee Candle. If you did it once, great. Do it again. Just make sure you tag them, tag me, and a link to one of my videos that has somehow touched you or made your day better. Let them know that I exist so I can get in that door 
sit down at a desk and talk to someone and share my ideas, my thoughts with Yankee Candle so that we can enhance the quality of the content of this show. That's where I'm going to leave it off. I love you guys. Thank you for, for joining every Sunday. Uh, it truly is a, a, a therapeutic experience for me to do one of these lives um, because I get to really just share everything that's going on in here all week long with people who care. So thank you. Uh, remember to come back and leave uh, your stories in the comments below or any, any comment you want to make later on once this video gets posted. That's going to be it for me. That's the fifth time I've said that. Uh, goodbye and lots of stuff coming up this week. And this time, I'm telling you, I'm not lying. Uh, first, first adventure, adventure, aromatic adventure video is going to be uh, a brand new experience, a daytime experience at Old Stir Bridge Village in Massachusetts. That one you're not going to want to miss, so keep your eyes open for that. Uh, red line in, we'll talk about that in the near future, but that's coming up as well. Thanks for watching, folks, and we'll see you uh, real soon. But until then, be good. Would you? Please be good. And...